Hi, welcome to our channel. My name is Will. I'm a software engineer and a trainee teacher, and I run the Acton and Ealing Coder Dojos, which, due to current circumstances, have merged and move 100% online. So let me take you on a little tour of all our online activities. It starts with this channel, your which, presumably if you're watching this, you're already in the right place. We have, of course, you can access all of the videos. Our videos are conveniently grouped by playlist, if by technology, so you can have a look at all of the videos pertaining to Scratch. And when doing tutorials for projects that are split over several videos, there's a playlist per project. So that's Flappy World with one, two, three, and four. This was because it was made from a live one. Ghostbusters got five different videos and so on. Um, the technologies we use, the Scratch, of course, big thing on Scratch. We have a studio on Scratch for the Acton Ealing Coder Dojo. You can follow us. This is where all of our learners share their projects. There's a lot of work in project stuff because we also use it to debug between us. We talk about App Inventor, also from uh, the Massachusetts, Massachusetts Institute of Technology, the old MIT, a great little platform to you know, put things on the ground very quickly, drag and dropping, and make apps that run on your actual telephone, believe it or not if it's an Android phone, and this is the Replit. Um, great, great tech, it's an online um, development environment for works of a lot of languages and, and platforms. We do HTML and CSS, as well as Python, uh, Python with Pygame, so you can get Pygame stuff running straight from the browser, no need to install, and the beauty of Replit is like, it's, get, it's like Google Docs for code, you can, you can actually be like editing your code file at the same time, um, so our Replit, I suppose it's called, is at Ealing Code Dojo. I'm also at WB Grok. That's my handle on GitHub, if you're that kind of person. Um, and I would very much like to be able to, to find the time, or if there is interest, to talk about other exciting technologies that I've not covered yet in the channel or in the classroom, but are very exciting. So I'm very excited by them. One of them is processing. That's, um, I guess it's a sort of development art code. Um, all about kind of getting visual art set up, but programmatically um, it, it started being based on Java, but they have made a Python version, and that's the one I'm kind of curious to check out. Sonic Pi, we've, we've tried that a couple of years back, back when it was in the library. Sonic Pi is a, a code-based music creation and performance tool. That's very interesting. It's like live coding that also performs like music, as if the software platform, the, the software interpreter, is an instrument, if you will. That's, uh, that's one out of left field, but, but really interesting because it's quite creative. The stuff that do with like, you know, do things well in, you know, together or one after the other. It's, it's based on Go, which is, um, yeah, another language, admittedly, but it's easy to pick up. Uh, it's, it's about as easy as Python in terms of abstraction. And then there's all the machine learning, deep learning, AI stuff. Uh, machine learning for kids, .co.uk, of course, is a great place to start. There's also TensorFlow, Google Collaboratory. Everything that is in the cloud. Um, that's it for the online sort of YouTube stuff. Um, as I said, you're already in the right place. If you'd like to see a, a topic or a technology covered, or a particular tutorial, just leave a comment. And I'm, I'm always happy to, to provide. Uh, the tutorials tend to be driven by the learners that in the, in the dojo we sort of touch upon something and I'm like, okay, that'll make a good video, watch this space. Speaking of the dojo, if you'd like to attend, not, not quite in person, but certainly live, um, your first step is the Kodo Dojo website, uh, kododojo.com, zen.kododojo.com if you're logged in. Uh, we are the Ealing Central Library Dojo and the Acton Town Hall one. Events are created weekly, tickets are made available for booking. Please book if you're going to attend. Uh, we meet weekly, Saturday 11 to 12, that's open to everyone. Well, everything is open to everyone, to be fair. And as often as possible, whenever I get time and, and kids are up for it, I try to slot in an advanced dojo on weekday, sort of after school, 4, 4.30 sometimes, to, to talk about sort of more advanced um, coding topics. We also have a Google Classroom. It is 2021. Now you're doing education, you kind of need a Google Classroom. This is for announcement. This is for uh, resources. It's like where all the tutorials are bundled and so on. Very, very helpful if you'd like to just kind of flag something up. That's where we'll put the, the link for the dojos themselves to Google Meet. Um, yes, I think I've covered about everything. There's a Google Hangout also for kind of a bit of communication, but welcome to that in your time. So, subscribe to the channel. Uh, even maybe enable the little bell. I don't post new videos very often, but every now and then I do a bit of a, an afternoon of live coding, and if you're interested in catching that live, 
that tends to be a more fun hour than if you sort of catch it post hoc because it's just like a tutorial video except not edited, long and rambling. Still, it can be fun. So, but uh, beyond, beyond the YouTube channel, which you can subscribe, that should be, I guess, around here. Um, beyond the YouTube channel, your first step is the Kudo Dojo website. I hope that you will enjoy the content you'll find here, and I hope to see you perhaps one Saturday. Um, maybe one day in person in the library, who knows, but certainly a Saturday or even at the Advanced Dojo on the weekday online. Thanks for watching, and happy coding.